Welcome to Farming Live Australia. This week we've had a big week with machinery. A couple of weeks ago, I put a new belt on the mower and it broke after only about 100 yards of mowing. It turned out it was the wrong belt. So I've got the right one this time. I'm going to show you how I changed the belt. Rather than lie on the ground or take the mower deck off or any of that rot, I just do it by lifting it up with a loader. I work on the motorbike the same way. Just get her all up at high level. Makes it easier for me. Because I only changed the belt a couple of weeks ago, I sort of remembered how it all went and it went very easily and no great dramas at all. Let's just hope this one lasts a bit better. I'm trying to encourage Pat to learn the basics of the loader. Not like pushing scrub or anything, or but just basically so she can move it if she has to or if I get in trouble and need her to do something with it. It's pretty windy of the whole thing at the moment and very careful which suits me down to the ground. I don't need any shocks or surprises at my age. She's a bit like me, the most trouble we both have is getting in the bloody thing. The belt was a success and I made until dark and didn't have any trouble and it all worked okay. I much preferred doing this job. The little paddock beside the house where I store a lot of my gear just become completely overgrown and I've got to be really careful because I have got gear in there and I'm not sure where it is and uh, it's all a bit of an issue. Anyway, I'll get around and clean it up and then I'll find some of the gear and move it to where I have made and do it that way. Some of this grass I've got to kill because I want to put a shed just about here where the tractor is now. I got a certain way and then I couldn't go anymore until I moved some of the gear. So the next thing I'm going to do is get the loader and move some of the gear around and then I'll complete the job. One of the first things I wanted to move was these three bars are high out of the shed. They're the last three bars we've got at the moment so I'm going to have to make some more very shortly. And one of them I thought I'd put in 
the yards so the heifers could get a bit of hay if they wanted it. They don't need it, but a bit of dry feed if it rains is good for them. Pat's just going to take the wrap off the outside of the bar before I put it in the shed. It's a pretty tricky little spot to get it in here actually. Takes a bit of mucking around, the roof's not really high and it's a bit difficult. I mean it can be done but it, you got to be very careful what you're doing in there. This view gives you a bit of an idea. You can see that there is enough room but I run out of height, that's the problem. And you'll see that in a minute to tip the bale. Before I cleaned up any more, I th saw that there was a hell of a lot of grass left from when I slashed the bit I did do. And I thought, oh, I might push it up in a heap and put it on the truck and take it down and put it in with the bulls and they can stomp on it and defecate on it and urinate on it and I can use it for mulch. We've taken the truck down to the yards and I'm going to unload all this into the yards and if we see, if the bulls come up we'll see what they think of it. Here I've got a little bit of molasses left in the 1000 litre container. So we put the forks on, now I'm going to put that over the top of our bathtub here and just let it trickle in. And the bulls can have a lick of it when they like. There's probably a couple of hundred litres left in there. And rather than have to take it out the tap which is torturously slow, we just let it drip out and they just come and get it when they want it. So you can see here it's going to drip in and there's not a real lot of room for them to lick it up. You know there's only one or two can get their head in there at a time. But in a day when it's drained out I'll take the container away. The bulls have come up. They seem to be doing about what I thought they'd do. Stomping on it and peeing on it and pooping on it. Anyway, they're having a good time. 
I think that's going to make some really nice mulch. Being not so dry as the hay, it'll probably have a little bit more nitrogen as opposed to more carbon. Anyway, whatever. Some are eating it, so maybe they're going to eat it. These two fellas have found the fresh molasses, and they're going for it. This bloke's got it all over him. His mates will stand around and lick his face for the next hour. Worse than kids with a McDonald's ice cream. Today we got up early and had to go to town to pick up some gear and then of course we had to come home and unload it. One thing that we picked up was some old conveyor belt. We want to put this on the ground to put under our old machinery etc. Some of it we're going to use to put between the rails in the race so the cattle can't see out. We had to cut a couple of limbs off one of the trees so that we could mow under the tree. Pat decided she was going to get in and pick up all the limbs and take them over and chop them up. We'll let them season for, I don't know, 12 months or something and then we'll probably burn them in the stable, I'd say. Pat's cutting all the bits of wood up with a drop saw. We're going to store them in a crate and put them over in the paddock to season. This is our old rake and you can see it's getting pretty old and worn. Got a bit more life in it but not a lot. You can see over here on this corner there was a fitting and it's rusted off. So what I'm going to do is just pull this into here, clean this up and put a bit of weld on here and, and that'll do for now. I've got things a bit organised with the loader and sorted out. I'm going to slash this area where I keep all my stuff. 
I actually need the rake going for another job, but I thought while I had it organised, I'd put it on the back of the tractor and rake up a bit of this green grass and put it down with the cattle so they can do the same job on it as the other lot. This about wraps up this edition of Farming Live Australia. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.